<laughs> but underneath, I mean, the thing has a canopy. It's got I-95 above it. It was so cool to look at it and think that even on a rainy day, even on a day like today where it was really hot, you can still get out there with your skateboard. Yeah, it's time to get it out of the garage and dust that thing off. That could be fun. All right, we are still tracking a few of the spotty downpours as these continue. The color fades away because the heat advisory is expired and now really cooling things off as we move through the restaurant row here between Flagler moving up through Painters Hill around the RV parks there. Palm Coast kind of got the uh, little break in the action as the system split. There's a little bit, as you'll see, last couple of frames here creeping up from the south that'll try to come into the Belterra neighborhoods. Meanwhile, out over Fort Matanzas or moving away from Fort Matanzas and now over the Matanzas Inlet as we get southward there into St. Augustine. And I had a track here and I thought maybe there'd be enough wiggle room, but it looks like we've already reached those destinations between St. Augustine Beach, Butler Beach, and we're spreading out here over Anastasia. And you can see what's to come. That'll be over Bolano within the next couple of minutes. In our last little shower, it hit the target zone, but as it did so just over Perimeter Swamp Road there, it started to fade away as it got into Charlton County. I think, uh, if anything, maybe a drizzle, a drop or two there along 121. Meanwhile, a lot of rain still associated here with Debbie as she'll continue to move through parts of the Appalachians. Northward, getting out of Pennsylvania, New York, Vermont, Connecticut, and points beyond all the way back into the Canadian water here as it will continue to move through the north. It looks like it'll stay maybe just to the south there of the uh, Trent Severn. Meanwhile, Tropical Storm Debbie, that's our focus as we watch what's happening in our inland and mainland areas. But what's brewing in the Caribbean, well, I say Caribbean, it's closer to the Atlantic. We've got the 40% chance. This is a system that we need to keep an eye on because of where it's forming. I will say I tend to like the storms where they're forming currently versus the ones that are deeper into the Caribbean waters and the reason is because of the benefit and the aid here of what will be the Bermuda High. It does help to create that right hand turn and you can see that's what we're looking at as we go all the way into next weekend with both the Euro and the GFS trying to bring something together. All right, back at home. We're watching some of the rivers here and we're going to the ones that have either the stages that are, so this is the Black Bork, which has actually come down now. It looks like action stage versus what have been some of the moderate flooding, like what we're seeing here near Waycross and the Satilla River and the staying just shy of the majors. But temperatures for today, they were cooking 99 degrees, still feels like 109 out there as we take you to Mayport. Overnight temperatures will move into the upper 70s, even some lower 80s and rain chances, even though they start creeping back under that southwesterly flow. Typically for the southwesterly uh, regime here, it's usually about noontime near Highway 301, 2 o'clock on the 95 corridor, and a pattern that's going to repeat itself for the next few days here as we make our way through the weekend and into the start of the upcoming work week. All right, thank you, Richard.